Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gingium YouTube channel. Today we are resuming work on the Delica, the JDM adventure van. Today we are finishing up one of the last things on the electrical system and that is a solar panel. Solar panel. Now this bad boy is a 100 watt Renogy solar panel. It comes as a little kit with the controller, all the wires, everything you need to hook this thing up to your deep cycle battery. For those of you who were around for the adventure bus build, this is the same solar panel we used on that, but we only have one. On the bus, we had four. So the bus had 400 watts, we have 100 watts. This one solar panel won't provide nearly as much charging um, capacity, but we don't have as many electrical components on the van. We don't have to run as many things, we don't have to charge as big of batteries, and we also don't have as much roof space. So this 100 watt solar panel, it's gonna be perfect. It actually fits nicely right in between the little wind deflector and the roof rack, so it's gonna be awesome. The other thing we're gonna be doing is mounting some low power flood beam roof rack lights. Those lights will be ran off of the RV battery and they'll be used for camping stuff. So say we, arrive at our campsite at night, we wanna be able to set up, but we don't have to use flashlights and stuff, we got the roof rack lights. There will be a pair of lights facing in each direction, left, right, and backwards, and actually, those roof rack lights, they're already on the roof rack. If you've been paying attention, I added them a couple of weeks ago, and I recorded the whole process, and then accidentally deleted the, the, the footage. But we have to wire those up, wire them up to some switches. The first thing we're gonna be doing today actually is going to go ahead and paint the roof rack because I grinded off the paint to weld the lights on to the roof rack and then never painted over them and now it's rusted. So we have to grind the rust back off, paint them up, and then we're gonna do the solar panel, then we're gonna wire it all up and then we're just gonna have a good time. The end is nigh, my friends. This van, it's almost done. So let's get to work. Oh man, my new shop, so much better than this little corner of unorganized junk. This should do the trick. While the paint on the lights dry, I'm gonna work on removing the, uh, the, the plywood for the bed. Obviously we needed this for our camping trip, but um, in order to finish the flooring, that back wall, and all the other stuff, this can't be here. It just, it gets too much in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Now obviously for roof rack lights and solar panels, we have to get wires through the roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this plastic trim and try to kind of at least get the headliner to hang down. So I don't want to drill through the headliner. I don't want to have visible wires. I want it to be all ran underneath that stuff. So gotta work with some old Mitsubishi plastic. holes drilled for the pass through. Now we have to mount the solar panels and then we gotta run the wires for the solar panels and for the uh, roof rack lights. And everything's gonna go through here and this has got some nice waterproof fittings and it will be sealed to the roof.
before I actually mounted the solar panels or the uh, little pass through or anything like that, I went ahead and I painted all the holes that I drilled with some black spray paint just to prevent it from rusting. It's gonna have some silicone over it and some other stuff to make sure that no moisture gets to it. But you, you, you can't be too careful, especially when you have an old JDM car that happens to be rust free. You don't wanna ruin it. While that paint dries, I'm running the light or the, the the wires for the lights they are gonna run along and then you know kind of up inside the vehicle and the switches for the lights are gonna be these three switches so we've got this one which turns on those this will turn on the passenger side this will turn on the back and this will turn on the driver's side and it already has power coming to it so all I have to do is route these wires up to the lights and then ground the lights guys the solar panel is up here and the wires are ran nicely along the roof rack and then they run up to the pass-through which has been nicely sealed to the roof so this should all be water watertight no water should get through the roof into the oh gosh yeah this is dangerous <sighs> that's for sure one thing you can notice is that some of the roof rack rods are bent that's because last time I went overlanding, there were some tight trails and I whacked them against trees. So I'm gonna chop off the ends of all those because there's no point in them sticking out two feet. Also that one's crooked, so I'm gonna straighten that one. Not a big deal. Point is, is that the solar panel is on and the wires are now inside the van. So we have to run those and then we have to run these wires to the lights. Easy peasy. <laughs> And while this plate, which is gonna hold the solar controller, dries, I'm gonna go ahead and finish wiring up the roof rack lights. Oh, my foot is falling asleep. Oh. The lights are all wired up. It looks a little messy up here. You know, it, you know, you can see the wires pretty obviously, but when you're on the ground and looking up, you can't see any of it. I assembled everything with these nice waterproof connectors, so they'll last forever, and I'm super happy with it. But, does it work? The breaker is turned on, the ground's attached, everything's attached, so I should be able to come in here and switch it on. Ha ha ha! And it works. You know, it's kind of hard to tell how bright it is, but even during the day, you know, this is a little bit brighter. We'll come back once night falls and test it. Let's try the back one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the driver's side one, also working. So that's awesome. I'm excited to see what they look like when it's nighttime. I'm hoping it's not too bright and I'm hoping it's a nice wide spread out beam of light. 
Are you hungry? All right, I'll get you some food, but first I gotta, I gotta talk to the fan. This is dry, so now I can mount the controller for the solar panels and hopefully get that all wired up before the sun sets. <laughs> Just like that, we're connecting four wires, positive and negative from the solar panel and a positive and negative to the battery. We're done. And the solar panel is charging it right now. Not very much because, um, you know, the sun is pretty much gone, but there's enough ultraviolet that the battery voltage jumped up 0.2 volts when I plugged in the solar panel. So it's charging it. That's the great thing about solar panels. Uh, will it be able to keep up with really any load on the electrical system? No, but when you're doing absolutely nothing, the battery's charging. And now when the van's sitting outside, I'm not driving it, battery's charging, staying charged, staying in good condition. About to put this electrical system to the test. I'm gonna try to run the, uh, big old shop vac. 2000 watt system and that is a 1500 watt vacuum. Funny I can see the voltage gauge. It drops to, I thought, 11.8 volts when I turn the vacuum on. So it definitely is loading the system quite a bit, but it's doing it. Wires aren't even warm, so cool. <laughs> That kind of ruins things, but let's look at these lights, eh? Beautiful. All right. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll have to try to point them down more. But they are bright and they're pretty, uh, they're not too spotty. Let's try some other ones. I'm not gonna do the back ones that long, but oh yeah, that's nice. It'll be good for backing up too. What about these ones? Ah, I mean, hey. For two little low power lights, I mean, LEDs are crazy. Look at that, perfect, perfectly lit. Of course, I'm using my phone, which actually has good low light, but yeah, I mean, that'll be nice for setting up camp. Don't have to use flashlights and stuff. I mean, there's plenty of light to set up camp, plenty. Just a few more things to get done today. The van is charging nicely with some direct sunlight on the solar panel. Today, we're just going to chop the ends of those off and then we're going to mount the awning a little bit better. My friend Andrew thought about this very simple and efficient way to attach this to the roof rack. So previously, there were two hose clamps that went around the awning and then around the, uh, the roof rack pole. Problem is that obviously the roof rack pulls this way, the awning's this way, they're perpendicular. So you take your big hose clamp and then you put a smaller hose clamp in the, the big hose clamp perpendicularly. You put it around the awning. So the roof rack will go through the little hose clamp and then the the big hose clamp attaches it to the uh, the awning. Look at that. 
Not only does this look 10 times better, but it's also way more solid. I mean, I can move the entire van by yanking on this thing now, where previously I could have just yanked it off. Shout out to my friend for thinking of this because I was trying to think of some complicated, fabricated way to mount this thing where this is just as good and way simpler. With that, guys, the roof is totally done on the Delta. We got the solar panel on there and it's charging nicely in this beautiful sun. We got the roof racks on there working perfectly. And we've got the super over long, unnecessary roof rack bars cut down. And we got the awning cleaned up and mounted properly. Next up is to start finishing the interior, which is when it gets exciting because all of our hard work kind of comes together. But first, the Delta is having this really weird issue where the tire is falling off the wheel. It, it's hard to explain, but you'll see more in the next video. I don't wanna, I don't wanna give away too much, but get excited. This Sunday, two days from now, things are gonna change. Let's just put it that way. I'll see you guys then.